Hello, boys and girls. Today our reading assignment is to point out the author, the illustrator, and the spine of a book, and then find three sentences in the book and count the words in the sentences. So I'm going to read a story today about a little insect. You can see here he is. What kind of an insect do you think this is? I know some of you just said grasshopper, and he does look a lot like a grasshopper, but my story is going to be about a cricket. This story is the very quiet cricket. The very quiet cricket was written by Eric Carle. Eric Carle was the author because he wrote the story. And Eric Carle was also the illustrator of the story because he drew the pictures. So the author wrote the story, the illustrator drew the pictures, and the spine of the book is right here. And most times on the spine, we can see another place where the title is, The Very Quiet Cricket. Well, my story about a cricket is very interesting because crickets are very interesting. Eric Carle put some interesting facts in his story about crickets before he started his story. So I want you to listen to some of these facts about crickets because you're going to find them very interesting too. Did you know that there are over 4,000 different kinds of crickets? Some live underground, some live above. Some live in shrubs and trees, and some even live in the water. Both the male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. So both, both the boys and the girl crickets can hear, but only the boy crickets can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. So at night, when you hear the crickets outside, you'll know that's the boy crickets rubbing their wings together to make their chirping sound. My little cricket's going to help me tell the story today. There he is. He's going to help hold the book. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. That sounds just like the Hungry Caterpillar book that we just read, doesn't it? Except of a little hungry caterpillar coming out, it was a little cricket. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Poor little cricket. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. <clears throat> Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Oh no, but nothing happened. Not a sound. How 
are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good evening, quarreled a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Poor little cricket, he's never going to make a sound, is he? Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Isn't that beautiful? Sometimes I see those flying at night in the summer. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She, too, was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time... He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. So the little cricket was finally able to make a sound. But you know, it's dark. And most times I've ever heard a cricket, it's been at night. Maybe that's why he couldn't make his noise. He was waiting until it got dark. So the next thing we have to do is find three sentences and count how many words are in our sentences. So I'm going to turn back a page because I love this page. I think it's so pretty. There's the luna moth here and the stars and there's the crickets. And we have some words here. Let's look for a sentence. Remember, a sentence will start with a capital letter. Turn this where you can see it. And it will end with a period. So let's see. Here's one sentence. There's a comma. There's our period. So there's one sentence. Here's another capital letter. There's our period. There's sentence number two. And here's our capital letter. And then it ends with a period. So let's go back and count how many words are going to be in those three sentences. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There were 30 words in our three sentences. So tonight, or whenever you read your book, make sure you can find the author and point out the illustrator. Remember to point out the spine. And then you find three sentences and you count the words in them. We'll see you next time. Listen for crickets tonight. Bye.